Hello and welcome back to Provis Gaming and Star Wars Rebellion. All right. The state of the Rebellion is strong, everybody. The Seswana Sector and the Sluis Sector are both staunchly holding on as best they can. Kenyon is certainly not going anywhere fast because Nara totally sucks at diplomacy, but it's worth a shot. Over time, your characters, uh, their stats actually do increase, but Nara, I kind of, I don't think he's going to have enough successes to even do that, so... We're currently targeting and destroying some of these stormtroopers over Salonia, hoping that the uh, the uprising will start taking out some of the troops, and that I can get in there and uh, liberate it. Once I do, whoops, I fully expect uh, what's this world, Zyquin or whatever, to join as well, which will be great. I told you it was gonna good. Work. Good, good, good. Destroyed. Uvena is in good shape. Uh, okay. So I guess we'll just continue to do this for a little while. Once again, though, on the Hustler, we cannot afford to take Luke with us because uh, Grammel is Force-sensitive, and he will detect and alert the Empire to Luke you Skywalker's presence if we try to use him. So we won't. That only took a day. I love it when things go well. Let's do that again. We're going to get this planet. You I know this it. seems a little cheap, but you do what you got to do. This is the advantage of the Rebellion. They start off with extra personnel and do an especially good job of this stuff, so use it. Use it to your advantage. Why uh, Why be all noble and take the hard path? You We're a rebellion, it. gosh dang it. We can't fight. Oh, there we go. We cannot fight the Empire toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Not at this stage in the game. All right, the uprising ends on Salonia. Training facility idle on Salonia. Let's train up some troops here. There we go. All right, Zyquin, you're fairly gosh darn neutral, so I'm thinking if I desire to, I probably could either get you to join us or go neutral. One of the two. Either way, it hurts the Empire. The question is, how much is it going to help me? So let's actually send the Hustler to Zyquin and see if we can't pull anything off. Deneb is also a fairly darn neutral world. We have a bolt cruiser. The Nimble's just sitting around. All right, you know, let's send it over to Denab. I want to see if they've got any orbital defenses. If not, maybe it'd be worth training up some infiltrators and trying to sabotage this place. Could be good. Could be useful. We'll see how that works out for us. Uh, Seswana Sector, still nothing interesting happening. We have a Star Destroyer in orbit. That worries me a little bit. Star Destroyers are very powerful in the early game. They can pretty much rip to shreds anything I send their direction. But fortunately, I don't think we have to worry about that too much. Oh, hang on. Yuvena is now at full popular support, which means that both of these guys are pretty much done here. So let's just kind of top us off. Make sure our popular support is as good as it's ever going to get. Uh, who has the shipyard? Was it Balmora? It was Balmora. I'm going to send the fleet to Balmora because one of the ships is damaged. And you can repair it over time, but it goes faster if you are at a shipyard. Makes sense. Kind of common sense, not uh, not surprising. All right, let's see. Construction yards, we have a couple of idle ones. Are these, yes, they are advanced training facilities. That's good. So, what do we want to build? Well, it looks like all of our planets in the Seswena sector have already used up their stuff. So, let's target Salonia and build four construction yards. Yeah, you heard me, four. We don't have any in the Corellian sector that I am aware of, and we're going to need it eventually. It'll take a long time to deliver, but it's better than waiting for, well, literally every planet to get its stuff from the Caleron sector. It takes way too stinking long, so we're not going to bother with that. All right, the fish. Uh, you know what I think I need? I think I need training uh, shipyards. So let's start building shipyards at the fish. Four of them. It'll take 80 days, but by golly, are we going to start building ships quickly? The Fesh is in good shape, so I don't think that I need to keep Leia on here any longer. We'll abort that mission and send her to Sluis Van. I'm on my way. How long until the fleet arrives? A mm, few days. Give or take 11 days. Won't be too long. The Nimble is not very nimble. Again, irony, but we'll see what we can do here. Kenyon, no. Reconnaissance to Corellia was foiled. Shipyard idle on Bis. And also the construction yards are idle on Bis. So what were we trying to do? Charmath, I think we were trying to really make our training system. 
So let's actually send a couple of uh, advanced training facilities. Now these things are a little more expensive to build initially, but they train almost twice as fast. And since you only have a limited number of um, energy sources on a planet, you really want to consolidate and have the most efficient thing possible. Alright, so the Hustler has arrived, but there are four TIE Fighters. Can I deal with it? Four TIE Fighters? Probably. Let's try it. Uh, once again, that weird pixel error. Now, the only reason I'm taking control of this battle directly is because I know the computer is going to be dumb enough to retreat. I can handle four TIE Fighter Squadrons. There's no Bombers, there's no Interceptors, no TIE Defenders, thank God, those are powerful. No. Basic TIE Fighters, I think a single Corellian Corvette can easily handle. That actually is the main weakness of the Empire. Their fighters, early in the game, suck. Terribly they suck. They are literally only good at intercepting X-Wings and Y-Wings, that's it. Once you get a TIE Defender, oh, all bets are off. TIE Defenders have hyperdrive, shields, missiles, everything you could want. That's when the Empire really starts to shine. But in the meantime, yeah, we'll just we'll just uh, pity their pathetic little TIE Fighters and send a single ship to go and do a lot of damage. Oh, our shields are weakening, though. So we're going to need to start destroying some of these sooner rather than later. We'll have to send the Hustler to a shipyard to get repaired sometime soon. Oh, shields are going way down. Four TIE Fighters actually might have been a little bit more than I could chew. Nope, nope, we're fine, we're fine. We've taken two of them now. It's, it's easy recharge from here on out. Not a problem. This resolution on the game is really tricky for me to navigate. Uh, trying to make it as close to this as possible, but I don't know. The game, uh, it only runs in like, what was it, 640, 480 resolution? It's really small and hard for me to work with. You have to run things in windowed mode. So, it's really hard for me to control it, unfortunately, but I'm doing the best I can. Come on, there we go. One more down. How you doing? You single little TIE fighter? I'm gonna take you down. I'm gonna take you down to Winnipeg. Why Winnipeg? I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. Winnipeg might be a very nice place. You don't know that? I don't know that. So let's just not pretend that we know anything we're talking about. Alright, Zyquin. Uh, woo. They're actually getting kind of loyal to us. I think they appreciated that we beat them in that space battle. So let's go ahead and start sabotaging the Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers are actually fairly powerful. They're very good early game troops. Eventually, the Empire will gain access to Dark Troopers, which will be a very scary day for me, because those are powerful. Oh, hang on. We got an enemy fleet on the way? You got it. We have a TIE Fighter and the Dictator. It's arriving. Oh, we got plenty of time. That is a Dreadnought. Very slow ship. Fairly powerful, but really, really, really slow. It's not so I'm not especially fault. worried about it. Han Solo failed? Oh, you make me sad, Han Solo. Maybe I should have made you the decoy and let Chewbacca do the work. Chewie never you lets me it. down, right, Chewie? Of course not. Battle at the Nab. The Nimble? I don't think I can beat that. I don't know. A, dre a Dreadnought's a pretty powerful. So is a Bulk Cruiser, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and retreat. I don't think it's worth the risk at this point. I just kind of wanted to find out what was there. Fortress is doing well. Oh, hang on. I think I just actually finished some form of research and I I missed it. That's because I'm not paying attention. I'm trying to go too you fast here. Foiled, that huh? Was just great. Well, at least you weren't captured. That's good. So we'll move on with that. Oh, 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 oh no, no! Chewy! No! Chewbacca was captured. Okay, that's not good. Um, capital ship repaired at Balmora, right? Hip shot? Yeah, probably. Sullust under blockade. Oh, cram. Okay, well, Chewie is now captured. I could enact a rescue mission, and I will try it. It you may or may not work. Sometimes it doesn't, but we'll give it a shot. Come on. Come on. Nope, totally failed. Okay. That was just. We need to keep this. Sluice Van, Gorman. Hmm. All right. Well, I don't think I can save Chewy at this point. That was very unfortunate. Here's what it tells me: is that somebody with really good detection is on Zyquin. It's actually very possible that Darth Vader is here right now, and we don't know it. So. Hmm. What to do about that? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do about that. First off, I'm going to move to Commodore. 
because I know I have a fleet on the way that I don't feel like dealing with. Then I'm going to send one, two, three, just the three of them for now. Actually, just two. One, two. I'm going to send you guys to Kaminoor. It's going to take 21 days. We're going to give Han Solo some reinforcements. And hopefully, hopefully, we can take them down. All right, Gorman is finished, so let's go ahead and raise the popular support on Chandrilla. Let's send the two of these guys on a mission to, I don't know, Yagan Minor for now. And we'll do some espionage. I want to find out what they've got going on down there. We also have idle facilities, so I'm actually going to destroy the shipyard over Mon Calamari and make some space for uh, the advanced, no sorry, just the regular construction yard. Now I could destroy some mines and refineries, and when I want to go you know, more than three, I'm sure I will do exactly that, but uh, for now I'm content just improving things at Mon Calamari. Let's go to Bothawi. Bothawi might have something useful for us, you never know. Uh, we finished, we stopped kind of doing exploration, didn't we? Of the Outer Rim, so let's take a good look-see there. Paige! Understood. You are actually pretty good. You're a spy slash saboteur for me, so go to Balmora. Um, sometimes he turns out to be Force-sensitive, you never know. I've had that happen a few times. It's random, though. You never know what it's gonna be. Oh, hang on. Oh, Kenyon. Kenyon, here is uh, starting to actually sway away from us, which tells me there's probably an Imperial Diplomat here right now, and kind of um, kind of getting things over here going. Okay, well, that's that's unfortunate. We have a Nebulan B frigate. This is actually a pretty decent mid-game ship, or early game ship. What should we call it? Uh, I don't really know what we should call it. How about... Um... um the Rishi Sunrise, because it was built on Rishi. There we go. We'll send you to Kenyon. I'm thinking Nara is going to have to abort his mission, so we'll do that. We'll join the fleets, and once the three have come together, we're probably going to wait until Kenyon has fallen, and then we're going to try and conquer the world, and we'll see what happens from there. Construction Yards Abyss has finished whatever they were working on, so let's fix this real quick. Uh, what were you working on? Oh, right, you were building shipyards. Lots of shipyards. I remember now. Um, hmm. Well, what do we want here? That is a good question. What do we want? What do we want? Charmath? You got a bunch of training facilities going on right now? You have shields? You do. Okay. Where are... Okay. Which planets do not have shield generators? Calm. Tanab. And Furrow do not. So let's fix Calm up first and send a shield generator in that direction. Let's go ahead and build... Oh, I unlocked Mon Calamari Cruisers! These are great! Mon Calamari Cruisers are basically the equivalent of a Star Destroyer in the early game, so they're amazing. How long will it take us to build one? Probably a long time. 92 days! It'll take 92 days to build our first Mon Calamari Cruiser. Not worth it at this stage in the game. So instead, I'm going to build another Nebulon B frigate. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Idle shipyards, a bunch of them. Oh, gosh dang. I will say, this is one downside to having infrastructure so spread out, is that there's a lot of stuff to maintain. It's one of the reasons I always preferred to have just one planet per sector really good at shipbuilding, then one really good at troops, and then one really good at constructing, and let everything else take care of the resources. It was convenient and compartmentalized. I don't know if we're going to get that luxury this time. We probably will as we start to consolidate a little bit more, but for now, not so much. Sulliston regiments were unlocked. Now these little guys, they're really, really cheap, and they're really, really weak. What they're good at is detecting and foiling enemy operations. I'm not as worried about that right now, so I'm not going to bother. I'll actually put a couple here. You see they build really quickly, too. I'll build some here on the capital world, but uh, aside from that... Wow, it only takes two days to train them in Umgul. That's the power of the advanced training facilities, I'll tell you what. Really, really good. Let's build eight. Eight army regiments on Umgul right now. Why? Because I'm probably going to want to start... Um, building up a fleet that can actually start invading planets, because we're able to do that at this point. So, that's a pretty good place to be. Any construction yards? No. Okay, we're good. We are good. When do you guys arrive? 
Day 215, huh? Alright. Troop. Diplomacy. I'm just kind of watching. Whoops. Battle at Bothawi. Oh, there's one of the Star Destroyers and a lot. I mean a lot of uh, TIE Fighters. Huh. Alright. They have one shipyard. Not much in the way of troops to defend, but... Oof. Okay. Well, we obviously cannot stand that, so we're getting out of there. Getting out while we can. Enemy mission foiled. A reconnaissance... Lando Calrissian is now working for the Alliance. That's excellent. Why? Well, Lando, first off, is actually a pretty good diplomat, and pretty good at pretty much everything, actually, but one of his abilities is facility design, so we can actually start unlocking construction buildings a little bit faster. That'll be nice for us. Huh. Okay, the Sluice Sector is actually going to be a little bit difficult to break. It's going to be a tough nut to crack, I'll tell you what. Oh well, we'll make do with what we got. Um, fleet arrives at Kothlis, that's fine, they were just retreating from Bothawi. Leia Organa, no better. effect on Sluice Fan, that's fine. Sometime pretty soon, the Empire is going to have to start striking. Oh, hang on. A training facility was destroyed at Befesh. Yaga Miner and Corson have information for us. Oops, missed a diplomacy. That's fine. Befesh. You lost your only training facility. That's actually okay. Uh, it could be worse. Could be a lot worse. So I just I, I already have Umgol to train a lot of my uh, troops. I don't need Befesh to do that as well. If anything, that's going to save me a little bit of micro. Okay, Yaga Miner. No troops. Just a single Tie Fighter. Huh? Huh? Now that's tempting. The Hipshot and the Mule are ready for combat. Go to Yaga Miner and destroy their single TIE Fighter Squadron just to show them how much we hate them. We also learned a bit about Corson, right? Niles Ferrier. This is a spy combat kind of guy. A couple of TIE Fighters, no troops. Again. Uh, you do have a construction yard, which means I'm going to try to destroy that. Again, just to sabotage the crap out of their infrastructure. I do not want to take any extra risks. Construction yard idle on Gorman, huh? We can fix that. Um, I do not need a troop training facility here on Gorman. I would rather have another construction yard. So build that. And then we'll see if we can upgrade Balmora's troop training facilities. And pick one of these planets to start building some ships for us. Build shipyards. That's going to be our overall goal. Everything's going to go a lot faster once we unlock an advanced construction yard. Not a lot of good planets out here. Trogan. For some reason I saw that and I instantly thought Trogdor, but no. That did not happen. Alright. Next mission, hopefully, will be to rescue Chewbacca, but I think that's all we have time for in this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Provis with Star Wars Rebellion. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, subscribe, click on the annotations afterwards for more videos that I have done, and I will see you guys next time.